Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda, and today it's a little bit about what I'm doing all day long. Danny fixed breakfast, and yes, I'm spoiled. He always does, and we're out this morning. He is working on the fence. We're trying to get a second fence on one side of our property where we have a new paddock for the cows. I'm out starting chores. First off, the green stock. I can't film and do everything because I'm by myself, but I'm going to show you what I did. I watered the green stalk. Now this green stalk planter, most of this stuff's been going since last fall. These onions are about ready to come out because they're falling down. The tops have done, done their due. And y'all, I don't expect onions because these were like the red candies. I just, they just made, I'm pretty sure just made um, roots. They didn't ever make a bulb and they didn't. There's no bulb in there. I need to get it out. I try not to destroy my soil. Sorry about that. All they did was make roots. They did not make a bulb. This should have been the red candy. Danny had told me they wouldn't do it, but I've been harvesting some of this green and eating the greens off of it. The young ones. I've left the big old things, but these right here, that is good to eat. So I'm going to come through and take all the onions out of the green stalk and make room for something else. I have a radish here. I think, it, I think that's a radish. We'll probably pull that out. We have a tomato plant that's been in there since last fall. And I've got tomatoes. Look. See? I've got tomatoes on it. Um, I planted some beans around in different spots. But look at this. Look at the peppers. They're kind of squatty, but I pulled one and ate it, and oh my goodness, they are so good. It's great to have peppers this time of year. And then I've got all this chard. Um, I put it in a salad the last few days, been adding it because I don't have salad greens. I use the chard. I take one leaf out at a time. You can't tell it, but that's it. Let's look at the other side. All right, on this side, I've got beans, and look at this. They are starting to bloom. I stuck some beans in here in some spots because the radish is coming out, the onions is coming out, and Malabar spinach. The seeds fell from the last Malabar spinach I had, so it's coming up like crazy. And look at my Malabar spinach. It's not as big as Danny's in the greenhouse, but this one's not as old. I have it all down here. You see the Malabar coming out. It's doing great. And this is the back of the tomato plant. It's a tomato you saw a while ago. We're going to be taking some things out of the green stalk, adding more. We're going to be letting the Malabar just do its thing. And the shard, we're going to let it go as long as it can. And we're going to see if we can get another few tomatoes and peppers out of the pepper plants. When we stay at the cabin, we have to have a five gallon bucket of water to uh, go with the toilet we usually bring this one I have a lid filled it up it's ready to go back to the cabin I have to feed these little guys these well actually they're girls we have 15 girls here that will be ready to lay in another couple of months they're growing looking healthy and they expect food and my layers over there are really expecting food Miss Cripp gets her own pen for now. She's got a big, huge pen that she gets to do her own thing. And uh, we just feed her because she, she gives us one egg a day. So we let her stay here by herself so nobody messes with her. And so now we have all these chickens we have to feed. And they're out of water, so I've got to go get water. And then we'll be on to the next project. Water done. They should be good to go for a while. Happy chick. All right, guys, we're headed over. See our beautiful gardens. <laughs> headed over to the cabin because I got to take this um, water over there. One for the toilet. And yes, we have to haul water. So I'm going to be watering the last of the sweet potato draws that Danny put out a day or so ago. 
all the others are taking they're doing good we've had plenty of water for them but these need a little extra boost because we've got a few days of no rain and we're gonna water sweet potatoes and like I said Danny's doing fence you see here this is gonna be the new fencing right there it's gonna come down the side of that road and go right right through there he's already got post up and we're gonna have all that on this side for a paddock okay while I'm here I have to water these plants because I haven't got them in the ground yet. So we're gonna take time to do this. They're beautiful. And then I'm gonna go water my ferns. I'll probably get over here later today and get this in the ground because the heat and the cool is taking its toll on this. We had 48 this morning and it was probably yesterday or the day before up in the 80, late high 80s so i've got to get these in the ground eight 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 rows of sweet potatoes here and here we have another row this is a ninth row these plants are looking awesome but i'm going to go ahead and water them just because we don't want to lose them so that's nine rows of sweet potatoes here, and we have a couple of rows at the house already, and getting ready to put in a few more. All right, I got all those watered, and not one of them in that long row died. Every one of them's great. Uh, this is Danny corn. He planted it in two stages, and some of it's up really, really good. It's time for him to plow and add some stuff to it. Some of it is just coming up really good. But three rows of Danny corn. This is Danny's hot box. Look at this. This is the white ones. These are ready um, to go. He's done put 600 out in the field between the white and the red. And the red will be ready on Monday. So we're going to have quite a few of these. Mississippi changed their laws. We can't sell sweet potato slips this year. Can't mail them out. But, you know, we... That's the way it is. They keep changing the laws. But Danny wrote a book on how to grow these. Look how pretty, how luscious. And he took slips out of here two days ago. These right here. Two days. And look. They're growing like crazy. We've probably pulled over 700 slips out of these two sections here in a month. You can't do that with water, guys. Check out Danny's sweet potato manual on our Etsy store. And that's not all. Our English peas have been producing great. He also has an English pea manual on our Etsy store. How to grow them. Look at this. We've done canned probably 50 jars already. And these will be ready to pick again in a couple of days. How you like my cucumbers? Aren't they pretty too? The green beans that we had no hope for, look, they're starting to green up. They're doing better than we thought. And this is Danny's rain barrel at the smokehouse. It'll take me a few minutes, but I don't need that much water. I'm just getting enough to um, water a couple of tomato plants over here, my ferns, and these beauties. We wash, water these when it doesn't rain. Ah, it decided to kick in. Isn't that pretty? The epic smokehouse. And while I'm here, look at this. Huckleberries. I'm going to pick my huckleberries right quick. There's lots of these things on here. I've got four or five plants here that I take and pick. I'm going to pick those. And then we're headed back to the house to pull onions. This tomato we had last summer, last fall. Got tomatoes out of it. Had it in the greenhouse. We got tomatoes. I want you to look. I just did a little pruning. These may not be the prettiest tomatoes, but 
it is tomatoes none the same turning here at deep south look at this look at these tomatoes i'm talking awesome hanging in here danny's got to come give them some nutrition but look little one look at the tomatoes Few more leaves that need to come out but tomatoes everywhere trying to get some of the leaves out so that we can have tomatoes you're not growing leaves right guys you're growing tomatoes and this is it look at this i just think that's awesome look at the tomatoes <sighs> look at the tomatoes all right, we have our Norfolk pine that I'm hanging on to. I'm hoping to put in the greenhouse this winter, if at all possible. And my two ferns will go into the greenhouse if I can keep them going. But we had to sit them down. I couldn't keep them on the porch because of all the winds and rain that was coming in. And plus they get watered when they're on the ground. But after a couple of days, they have to be watered again. So hence the bucket in the water till we get water run over here soon guys soon and just for all you crazy day peeps we've done showed it at um patreon this is our tile for the bathroom and in front of the fireplace this is what it's looking like it's gray and blue and it has rust colors in it it is pretty awesome and we are going to be very, very pleased with this tile. Look at this. Mm. Danny's got to do fencing and stuff before we can get this done. But soon. Very, very soon. This is my cabin green stalk. Shoo, guy. Little spider. Look at the lettuce. Now this is unusual to be growing lettuce this time of the year here at Deep South. This one got a little wimpy, but I have fresh lettuce for today. I have fresh peppers in the other green stalk. I have fresh onions. I have fresh tomatoes. I have fresh cucumbers. And we're going to check and see if I possibly have a fresh lat let a fresh radish. Now something's wanting to eat on my leaves, of course, because they're good. Look at these peppers. They're looking healthy. I've got to get my supports over here because I don't need some of them on the other one and get the peppers supported but they're growing well the other lettuce that came up you can see it's little it's not doing but i'm going to get some harvest off this and then we're going to replace it and i'm thinking i may come put some uh, beans of some sort in the rest of these the strawberries i've got one that did okay and this is the other lettuce this was the red lettuce it's doing but it's just getting too hot like this morning it was 48 it kicks and goes by the time it hits 88 later today or tomorrow it'll droop and it'll almost die so the green stalk will grow some beautiful lettuce it's wanting to bolt so i'm probably going to take my lettuce off of here take it in today and come back and replant with some type of beans so i've got my lettuce headed back to the house that's a good stash I've picked a few berries. We're headed back to the other house to pick berries. These are huckleberries. It's a ride between two homesteads back and forth. And all out there are fruit trees that we planted from gurneys, from a place that we got in town, plus Grower Solution, plus all the magnolias are all doing well. Let's go see what Danny's up to. Uh, this fruit orchard, all of them are blooming, looking good. We've got fruit on a couple of them. This is pears, apples, and plums. Danny's setting the corner post. This one is going to go all the way down to meet the other side of this first paddock then it's going through the woods 
that way to the back fence, right? Yep. I'm on a journey to take them along on what Wanda does today. <laughs> and I'm giving them a little of what Danny's doing while Wanda's working too. We decided to divide and conquer today, huh? Let's do it. Got too much to do. Fix and start turning hot. So all of it needed doing. I'm headed to get the onions now and finish picking berries. Squash. Squash. Ooh. Squash. Onions. Squash. Blueberries. And blueberries. Ooh, I forgot the blueberries. Onions. All of it. Okay, I'm only started today. I got the sweet potatoes watered. I got... I got to stay focused on fencing because we got cows and they got to be able to eat. So I got squash, blueberries, and onions. We're going to do blueberries first because the birds are already birds singing. Are already over there. I hear them. All right, on to the blue. All right, guys, I've got my hoss tool bucket. It's a canvas bucket, and I put a plastic um, one-gallon container in there, and then I've got another container sitting in it that's smaller because there are some blackberries or dewberries and some blueberries. Now, all these are not ready. For the most part, they're not ready. These are the premieres. They're just not ready. But on the other end, the lapahas are starting to get ready. And over here, usually are some blackberries or dewberries, actually. not Most people think they're blackberries, but they're dewberries. And I don't know if I've picked all of them. They're starting to turn... See, you just have to keep an eye on this hillside. Actually, dewberries grow right on the ground. Blackberries grow on stalks or canes. And it's getting to the end of the season for dewberries and the beginning for blackberries. So, look at here. And you have to spot them because... They stay hid up in there, and it's hard to spot them. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at here. You only want these two that are really blue. Those are purple. This one is blue. This one is a touch purple. I'm going to chance it today and hope that the birds don't get it. Look at here. One of them's a touch red, but oh well. And if you wonder how I know how to pick blueberries and not drop them, when Danny and I married, his mom had a hundred trees like this, only 20 feet tall. And Danny and I picked 15 to 25 gallons a day for a broker. To make money and that's the way we paid our taxes and when you're picking you're picking fast and you don't want to drop them because every berry you drop you're losing money now these are small berries his mom's were huge compared to this they were three times this big <laughs> these are really small but it's the beginning of the season. We're getting water now. And these will start popping. That one's no good. The bird's done got it. I put these in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. Look. You see? Look what the birds did. See what the birds did? If I don't get here, they'll eat every one of them today. So we have to pick them. I'm going to get busy. There's not that many compared, but you see there are some. Look at this tree. Huh. And when I get through here, we'll go get the squash. Check the green beans. Check the green beans in the greenhouse. And pull onions.
gonna go check through the squash. Um, there may be a few here. This is the first time in three years that Danny's had squash that he's really, really proud of, and these things are gorgeous. I'm gonna run through the corn, just see if any new worm spottings are there. And look at these. Those celebrity tomatoes are kicking it. Tomatoes off them soon. And the okra is getting on up there. It's getting close to a foot tall. Not bad. And over here, the elephant garlic and the blue tomatoes. These blue tomatoes are beautiful. We're hoping to harvest them probably within the month. And I took the berries out in the other. That's why I take the ice cream bucket in here and the smaller one. The ice cream bucket is for the bigger stuff. The smaller one is for my berries. Dual purpose. Not damage his plants. I think it'd freak on me if he did. Pretty awesome. The green beans. We planted these contenders. And that's these on this side. In all three rows. And these did not come up except for this little short section right here. We replanted twice. Again, these are the yellow wax beans, and this is the third time. And these were the first ones, and we've been ignoring them because they look so puny and scrawny. But look at this. We came in here yesterday, and look. They have beans. Danny said you just leave some green beans alone, and they'll start making when you don't pay them any attention. There were nice beans yesterday. We picked quite a few. And tomorrow, there should be quite a few more. I mean, they're starting to put on some decent green beans. It might not be a field of green beans, but still it's green beans. And these are not far. They're starting to put on blooms. And these are supposed to be bush beans, and they're putting on runners. We have no idea why. Isn't that a gorgeous sight, guys? Just so green. The corn that was only three foot tall and tosslin is now getting around five to six foot tall. Some of it's still short, but it's got uh, ears of corn on it. This is the peaches and cream from Hoss Tools. And we've already had to take worms out of the tops of some of them. And we're keeping a check every day. So far, yesterday I found three. Today... I don't think I've seen any signs, so maybe we got the worms under control at the very beginning. All right, so far a few green beans out of the garden, a few squash, a couple of tomatoes, a few blueberries, a few huckleberries, and my lettuce. And this was yesterday. English peas, ground beef. Isn't that awesome? Headed out for the onions to check the greenhouse and finish with my green stalks. And guys, it's 8-11. Just saying. Y'all, I knew I smelled something. Look at this. They are blooming. That's awesome. The gardenias are blooming. And before long, the smell is going to be wonderful. They're just all in the tops there. All in the tops here. Fixing to bloom out. I mean, there's little buds everywhere. And... Over there, and two in the front yard. It will smell wonderful. Another beautiful thing that's going on here is the shrimp plants. Isn't that just awesome? And people ask, why is it in my herb garden? Well, you see the rosemary in the background, and we've got other herbs all over the place, but the shrimp plant has medicinal purposes. Go look it up. This thing is gorgeous. Looks like little shrimp tails. And then you see the daylily in front. And the other shrimp plant going this way. The day, This was a daylily bed, and I turned it into an herb garden. And the shrimp plant was already in it, so I left it. We have our tangelo tree 
this is the base of it it uh, storm froze it it had a uh, freeze about five four or five years ago we got the base of it planted it here it was in the backyard and it has grown into a huge tree never produced more rosemary tomato plants oregano we have pineapple sage an airplane plant violets strawberries comfrey malabar spinach more tomatoes miss lippy's bay tree aloe and other things that will probably come up along the way because some of it hasn't come out yet but usually i have a variety of things in here isn't that pretty they're a gorgeous little rose they do not smell i'm looking for some roses that have a smell to them so if you know of any let me know and down below is where i planted right in here those are daylilies i've already had some of them blooming i see a couple blooming now they haven't totally bloomed out but all right guys i got a little sidetracked i'm sorry we're headed for onions now it's about 8 30. i've got my bucket danny's working on fence he's trying really hard dolly's in the background throwing fits she already wants to move i think she already knows that Danny's fixing to move them around. Um, so I'm going to get the onions and then we'll check out the greenhouse a little bit. Sorry, one more stop. The pomegranate tree is looking awesome. Danny shows it in our fruit tree tour. But look at this. This is his spaghetti squash. Danny is so proud of these things. And there's little spaghetti squash everywhere. How do you like his little green bean? This is the rattlesnake beans. He did an awesome job on the little trellis. We ran out of cattle panels, so he went to the woods, cut down some sticks, and did a little weave. All right, so some of these are not doing so well. This is the, let me see, Texas Legend. They did not do as well. They're small, and I'm going to have to pull this up to get them out from under here, I'm sure. That one came up, but you see they're real small. Some of these are not going to be that big this one I can get up and see they're they're kind of little compared that one was very little that one came up so these are the Texas legend they did not do that well there's a few of them that are a little bigger now, these did get good size not too bad but still not as big as we wanted but bigger than some that we've had over the years this one did pretty good it's a pretty good size but probably the biggest I've seen so far most of them are kind of small but look at this goes to show you they can get big because that one is my hand Big as my hand. Good size. Let me see where the... Oh, yeah, we're still in Texas Legends. So, you can see, that one is huge. So some of them will do, some of them just didn't. Any need fertilizer. Look at this, Texas Legend. And these are from Hoss Tools. Danny took in... Um, Bought the seed, put them in hostile seed trays. They were looking mighty spently. He planted them out here. And we're getting them because of the water. It's rained a good bit and we pulled a couple and they wanted to get soft on the outsides and we didn't want that. So I'm taking all of them. Let's see where we're... All right, that right there starts a new new variety. So, Texas Legends, look. On black plastic, guys. That's pretty awesome. I mean, that's some good-sized onions. All right. I think that's a pretty good harvest. There's some good size, I mean... 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven about this size. That is a very good size onion. From this point forward is a sweet harvest, also from Hoss Tools. Danny raised these from seed. And guys, I'm probably going to have to, see, that one's so big, it's not coming through that hole because this doesn't give unless I can find a way to work around it. It's almost there. I'm gonna have to pull the black plastic up from the side like he did to get most of these out. But that's as big as the other Texas legends. But let me show you. Look down through there. Look at this. Look at this. That is huge. Look at this one. I mean, covers my hand. Really, really huge. And they're all under the black plastic so we're gonna get them Danny picked out most of the bigger ones yesterday that were sitting on top I got to go into the plastic and we'll see what the harvest looks like not awesome the sweet harvest and like I said some of these things are as big as my hand. There's probably one, two, three, four, five, ten of those big as my hand. The rest of them are this size. We didn't have any tiny, tiny ones. So the Sweet Harvest is something we're going to be purchasing more from Hoss Tools and growing in the future. This is the table that Danny got that was his grandfather's table that was a shoe cobbler he left the original finish on it he uh, just covered it with a sealer he left the original top on it he just painted it with the silver grayish color still a metal top table these are the ones here that Danny's already harvested they're already partially dry good size look at this I'm talking good size onions best we've ever grown at Deep South these are the sweet harvest, all of these. And those in the back are the Texas legend. Overall, I'd say a wonderful onion harvest at Deep South. Guys, I thought I'd take you along today so you can see everything I do. It's 8.43 in the morning. I'm telling you. I don't know if I'll make it all day with you guys. I can't show everything I do. 24, 7, and we lose the towel on a regular basis. That's just part of Deep South, I'm sorry. I got dishes that's got to be washed. I've got to make Danny's biscuits. I'm going to use some of the fresh blueberries that I just harvested. All right, I'm fixing a cup of coffee. I'm going to take a little sit down and y'all know in my coffee I do the taquino and I do coffee I do both and lots of times I take and put a spoon of coffee and a spoon of taquino it makes my coffee go further it makes my taquino go further and taquino is heart healthy great for you guys if we make it through the day it's good it's 8 46 I'm headed to sit down just telling you it's break time Want to be checking out the computer, looking at things, doing all this. We've got editing, cooking, lunch. I've got to make a um, casserole. So while I'm doing Danny's stuff, I'll do the casserole also. So the oven's used for all purposes. And guys, I might take you along periodically showing you clips or something. It won't be everything I'm doing, but it'll show you what I'm doing. I'm tired and I got a full day to go. Talk to you in a little while. Break time. So during my coffee break today, I'm answering emails, checking on videos. We have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter. All these things have to be taken care of. It takes hours sometimes. So I catch 15, 20 minutes every now and then to run in and do a few things. So the last 10 minutes I've been answering emails 
Didn't get caught up, but hey, I got a greenhouse to go check on. All right, I got two eggs. I have to come out like two, three times a day. I should come out more and check because we have egg eaters and they eat at least one egg already this morning. And it's only been 30 minutes since I checked them. So I could come out like every 30 minutes and check to get my eggs. All right, guys, we are here at the greenhouse. This thing, it's probably nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. It is not hot in here. It feels good. There's always a breeze blowing because of the way Danny designed it. It's got the high ceiling. The windows haven't even, well, the windows are open a little. We haven't done a video on the fan yet, but it's not on, it's not open, but we'll do that shortly. But that window is starting to open up too. The windows open up, the heat goes out, and the plants are down low. Seems to be working out. Everything's looking great. Y'all, I'm just excited. This beans, now Danny likes his tomatoes and stuff, but these beans were my babies. And we have the black valentines, the yellow Cherokee wax beans. And I see, look, 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 look. Pretty blooms, pretty blooms, but look, 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 look. These things are awesome. Got a video on Deep South on how Danny and I are been, have been eating them. They're great. And I know there's more under there. I just see. They're just producing. There's blooms, beans. Danny's been coming out here harvesting my beans so that we can eat beans. Isn't that awesome? These are the Anasazis. These beans are not snap beans. We're leaving these. When these get full, then we'll harvest these. But I've never grown the Anasazis before. And this is a first for us. We're going to try them out. Danny called this the Jolly Green Giant. And it definitely is. It's all going over his greenhouse like crazy. Look at the tendrils just hanging. Hunting somewhere to hang on to. I've not even looked for cucumbers now. There's one, but I'm not getting it yet. It's not quite what I want. I see them hanging. See? There's one back there. Little ones. Look up here. Ha! I'm leaving those for a little bit. Look at the little ones. Wow. I don't know how we're going to reach them up there, but they're blooming like crazy. Look at this one. This one's going with me. This is a size I like. This is a pickling cucumber. National pickling. Look at here. Just awesome! Um, I cucumbers that need to be cut up. And I am going to be making red hot pickles. And it takes two or three days to do that. So I'm going to get those cut up shortly. Uh, I have some squash. I don't think there's enough of it to can. I have a few green beans. There's not enough to can. So we're going to hold on to those till tomorrow. And it's okay to put them in the fridge. I put my green beans in a Ziploc bag. I've already got them cleaned, snapped, and in a Ziploc bag for tomorrow. And we will be picking English peas again, if not tomorrow, the next day. finish up here it's 10 o'clock and I'm going to check out lunch I'm not sure what we're having today uh, I did stir fry last night with the uh, yellow wax beans the um, see what all I put in yellow wax beans squash English peas fresh meat from the cow that we uh, had processed we had uh, some tenderized steak and I cut it up into strips and made stir fry 
It was awesome. And I think Danny's gonna finish it off for lunch. That looks great, doesn't it? It's always great to have something on the homestead ready to eat and look. Now comes the task of writing and taking the rings off of each one of these. People ask why I take the rings off. If one of them didn't seal, now I check them and everything is sealed, but I take the rings off. That way, if it didn't, if it's a false seal, it'll pop and it'll start smelling. Right now I'm fixing to take the rings off. I'm gonna wipe around all the jars. I'm gonna write on the tops of them. And then, let me show you something. Look at this. I've got to go to the cellar and put all these up. This is a quite a few trips because I can't tote this whole thing. This is too much. I will take about eight or nine of them at a time. I can take the pints. I can take 12 of the pints. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trips down to the cellar to take all this down. And when I go down, I bring in more of the older stuff to fill in this. So I go down with fresh stuff, bring the older stuff up to replace in here. Voila, kitchen's clean. But all I can think about is those eggs and that chicken. So I'll write on these in a little bit, but we're headed back out. Guys, if I had a Fitbit or whatever the heck they call them little things that monitor your, um, gotta put my shoes on, monitor your steps, I guarantee you, I'd probably break it in a day. I don't even know how many steps I make, but we're going to go check the chickens and see if they've eaten any more eggs. This is like every time you think about it, you better come out here. Ha! All right, look at here. Two eggs. These are my culprits, I think. You see, they eat one over there, and I think I have another one over here that they haven't eaten. Ha! Bless their hearts, I'm coming at the right time. See, they eat one, but I've got three. And Missy Missy's, I guess we could wait on you, huh? Are you wanting me to just go away and leave you alone? Okay, three on top of the other two. That's pretty good for today. All right, so I've got this whole thing of eggs that need cleaning. That's something else we got to do today. That's a good many eggs, even though they're eating one or two along. I'm managing to stay on it and keeping plenty of eggs. And I write on all my jars, number one, what it is. And we call these English peas. Most people call them green peas if you're up north. Um, some people just write peas. I always put the date and um, yesterday was the 30th. And that's what my jar looks like. Because someone might come along in the future and pick that up and say, I don't know what that is because not everybody knows what an English pea or a green pea looks like. Not everybody would know that that is ground beef and not something else. So I write ground beef and the date, and it keeps it where when I go to the cellar, I can put these to the back, bring up the older, and we use the older peas, and these will be here for next year. All these rings have to be washed. So I've got to have hot water and wash them because especially the English pea ones, they're sticky. So they have to be washed. When you're canning, there's little things that people don't see like writing on top of jars, cleaning the rings, cleaning the jars before you get started. All the things that people overlook when they're canning. These are all part of it. Now, the simple fact that I've got to make about 10 or 12 trips up and down to the cellar because I don't store everything in my house. We do have an underground cellar that 
has shelves in it that I put everything down there, all the new stuff, and bring up the old. So those things are things that you don't see when people are showing canning. There's the extras that go along with canning. All right, it is 1030. We need to wash eggs, get lunch ready. Um, time I get the eggs washed, I get Danny's biscuits in the oven, the cookies made, all that. It will be lunchtime, and I will heat lunch while I'm working with the oven. Guys, you still with me? It's 1030. We still got more to go. Long day. Let's see if you can hang all day. Let me know in the comments. Are you still watching at 1030? All right. So I brought my first thing of English peas down. I have these. There's 14 jars of English peas left here and some jars left in the house. What I'm going to do, I've cleared out a spot over here and it goes into the back and comes across. I should have enough space there for my English peas. So I'm bringing the 2020 down and taking the 2019 up. All right, it's almost lunchtime. Over the past few days, I've been adding a little bit of stuff for soup. I have a little bit of squash, a little English peas, a few carrots, potatoes, and I added relish. We're going to cook this down. Everything's done already, but we're going to make soup out of it. And there's some chicken in there that was left over one night. Going to make a great soup, just boiling it all down, adding a little bit more salt and pepper if needed. If you want to add taco seasoning, you can add any seasoning you want. Season it up. It's a great pot of soup. It's simply leftovers, and it turns into soup. Whatever you have in the kitchen, throw it in there. I've got a few green beans. May add those. It'd be awesome. Or you can open up jars like this. That's where the carrots came from. I just took out a, a couple of spoonfuls of the carrots and added in. You can open up jars and make your soup. Everything in the jar is done. Put it all together, season it, cook it for 30 minutes or so just to mesh the flavors together, and you got soup. But for lunch, Danny's getting stir fry. I've got a piece of chicken here. Actually, there's a couple of pieces, so he's probably going to get a piece of chicken too. We're going to heat the chicken up that was on the grill, the stir fry, a few more carrots, and we're going to be good to eat here in a little while. I'm going to make my salad and maybe open him up a few more beans or add a few beans to his stir fry. All right, guys, it's almost lunch. I've got stuff in the oven. I've got my salad and it looks awesome. Ready, waiting on Danny to come in. Are you still with me? It's lunchtime. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. It's probably 1130. I've got the oven going, so I don't know what time it is, but time doesn't matter here. We don't even think about time. Most of the time we just know when we get hungry, we come in and eat. So I'm getting things ready. Uh, Danny will be in in the next 30 minutes to an hour. We will take a little break, sit around, eat, talk, and check the computer. That's one thing we do. We check off and on at break time, seeing what's going on, answering questions if we can. And are you going to hang with me? Are you going to make it till tonight? Let's see, guys. It's going to be a long video, I promise. Okay, guys. Got the eggs done. I'm fixing to take a lunch break. Got my basket clean, gonna sit it over here out of the way. I didn't show cleaning eggs, but I have a brush here that I use for the eggs. And Danny knows this is the egg brush. It goes under the cabinet. We have some brushes here that are for cleaning dishes, but this is an egg brush. Guys, always ask your wife, what is this brush used for before you go cleaning corn or anything? Because this brush is only for eggs, and when I get through, it goes back. Danny knows it's special. I spray my sinks down, and this is On Guard Cleaner. I go ahead and clean the sink really well. 
before we start anything else. I clean my sink really well, throw away the dish towel, and start over. Going deep, guys. Hang with me. We'll see if you make it through the day. Mr. Danny's joined me. We're on the swing. We're going to be eating and lunchtime. It's been a busy morning. Very busy. Very I'm busy. trying to accomplish everything in the house I can get done and in the fields. He's doing fencing. And we'll check in with him in a little bit on fencing. But guys, hang with me. Are you still here? It's only lunchtime. There's a lot of day left yet. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Looks like good home raised food. That salad is awesome. Good, right? So, what you got planned for this evening? Well, I got all the posts drove, got all my corners in. I gotta go put the wire bracing on the corner, and then I'm gonna water the posts in good. And I'm just gonna let them set until tomorrow sometime. And Did you get how many? And I gotta pull it out, full fencing. You gotta do what? Fencing tomorrow. Put fencing up tomorrow. Now I've gotta finish up in the kitchen, I gotta do sweet potato dessert, your cookies, your biscuits, all those. I gotta strike the cucumbers so that I can make my red hot pickles. Oh, your red hot pickles, yeah. And I gotta edit at some point. You got videos to edit. Yeah. Well, all right, five minutes, we're up and done. <laughs> yeah, Just five kidding. minutes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Danny and I took about an hour and a half break. That's really a good time. Just sit, talk, enjoy it. I was kind of joking around with him about break being over. We stayed for about an hour after that. I'm using this full circle brush. I'm back in finishing up dishes because this stuff's got to be washed. Even though I washed dishes a while ago, all this is cleaned up. I don't have a kitchen known. It didn't come in while I was outside. Just before I turned on the camera, I cleaned all this up, put it all up, got ready to do Danny's almond biscuits, sweet potatoes, but he finished off this sweet potato thing. It's got to be washed. We have our thing from lunch, so I'm just going to go ahead and wash. Plus, I'm putting the rings in the water first, getting them cleaned, and then I'll wash my dishes, and I'll have this ready, and I'll put sweet potato stuff in it. I use the full circle brush. It goes in jars. Y'all... This is one of the best investments, I, I think. I bought several of them. Uh, we got one in the Homestead box a year or so ago. Actually, this is the one from the Homestead box. I'm still using it. And uh, I invested in a couple more just because I wanted to stash. I love them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this up, make the almond biscuits, make the sweet potato stuff. Guys, I've made three trips down to the cellar another trip out to check the chickens and there were no eggs so i got it's time to go again it's been an hour and a half um we're going to be in the kitchen for a while i'll show you the finished product or i'll show you something of it but i won't show you the whole thing i'll just tell you i'm going to be doing stuff washing dishes and finishing up this stuff and then we're going to edit right now it is 12 50. so you still with me? You still hanging in? Comment. Are you here at 1250? Let me know. I'm telling you, this is my day. Some days, things change. Danny and I were talking about this earlier. Not every day do I harvest onions. Not every day do we harvest squash. Or not every day I'm doing this cooking. When I cook, Danny's biscuits last six to eight days. So I do this every week, just saying. When I do the sweet potato thing, it lasts a couple of days. Every couple of days, I'll make new sweet potato stuff. The eggs, I let them collect up three, four days, and then I clean them. This was just my day to do everything. 
And then editing, I edit something just about every day. But if I can get caught up enough to do three to four videos, that gives me two or three days I don't have to edit. And that's great for me. It gives me two or three days I don't have to cook or I don't have to clean eggs. Right now, I'm picking berries. The huckleberries, the blackberries, dewberries will all be going away soon. But our blueberries are kicking in. And when the blueberries are gone, the figs or the pears or something will kick in. So it's not the same every day, but it is the same. Right now we're harvesting English peas. They will go away in about a week. But after that, our green beans are kicking in. When those are done, we will have some peas and things like that. Every day there's something to harvest. It may not be the same, but there's still something to do. The canning, today I'm not canning. Yesterday I ran the canner twice, but today I'm not. To, in a little while, I'm gonna be doing the um, pickles. I'm gonna be cutting up the cucumbers, getting them ready for the night in the lime water. I don't do that every day, but that's something that's gotta be done today. Tomorrow will be canning again. I will be back on my canning and whatever's ready, it'll be canned. So each day is a different day, but yet it's full. It's a full day from daylight till dark. And hey, I just got to sit for an hour and a half. And after a while, I'm headed to the cabin. When it gets about five, six o'clock in the evening, we tend to our animals, make sure everybody's okay. We do what we can. We pack everything up. We either fix supper over there or we eat before we go. And then we take our breakfast, we go over there, we chill and relax for the evening, and we get up the next morning and hit it again. Guys, it's almost time for a break. Tequino Caramel Nut. This is a 100% organic herbs in a chicory herbal coffee caffeine free Tequino. It is awesome. I'm going to be making a cup of this. This is the Caramel Nut. And y'all, the smell, ah, oh, you just couldn't, you can't handle it. The smell is awesome. And I don't pour the whole thing in there. I pour about half of it because I'm only making a small pot. It makes six cups and I'm making approximately, probably about three. It doesn't make the whole, it's not making a whole four cup thing. If you're wondering why the different sizes, the bigger ones for breakfast, the little ones are for snacks. It is 1.30. I've got a little chewy granola bar here that I keep these on hand for snacks. I've got my taquino. I've got the computer. Guys, I'm going to edit. I'll let you know you're still here. We've got a casserole and stuff to make and get in the oven in a few minutes that I'm gonna edit for a little while and then we're gonna go check on Danny. guys it is 5 44 i've been working since i don't know what 2 1 30 i don't know how long i lost track of time i've got one video uploaded uploading a second video made two more and helped danny outside for a few minutes my camera died but i had to run outside and help him for a minute so that took about 15 minutes doing a video on something outside so i'm working on supper all right, our supper is going to be the soup that I started earlier. I never got to the casserole. So we're going to eat soup tonight, casserole tomorrow. I got the sweet potato thing out, but you can see someone's already been here. 
As you saw earlier, Danny's done snitched one of the um, biscuits, the blueberry biscuits that I've got going. So I got to feed this guy. He keeps coming through eating everything. So I'm headed out to check the chickens one more time. We're going to eat supper. And let's see if we can wind today up. Y'all still with me? We'll see what happens after supper. I think we're headed to the cabin. So all the chicks been fed. Big and small. They got a little water. We're headed in. Pack up and head to the cabin. So a few things did not get done today. I did not get everything out of the green stalk and get it replanted here or at the cabin. That didn't happen. I didn't get all these down to the cellar. I got three loads and I finished filling up some of the top up here. But I've still got to go back and bring more up and take more down. That's what I'm telling you guys. Everything doesn't get done the way you think they do every day. So that's just a little of my day. It is 5.52. I'm tired, I'm ready to eat, and I want to relax. So guys, I hope you stayed with me all day. And when I get to the cabin, if I don't get to relax, then I'm going to show you that too. But hopefully, I'm going to be chilling in about 15 minutes. i got to pack up an ice chest, which means I have to put the ice... Um, not ice, but ice packs. We have gel packs in the cooler. I have to put everything for breakfast in the cooler and we're good to go. Danny and I are eating supper. We were just sitting here and we've got a woodpecker, one of the red-headed ones, Woody Woodpecker. We call him Woody, right? Red, white, and black one. I just got a little clip of him, but we're not headed to the cabin yet, but I've got a picture or a little clip of our woodpecker and I'm watching the trees trying to see if I see him again. The corner post. On this way and all the way up yonder way. And all the way to the corner, past that big tree. It's almost 8 o'clock. I've got water boiling. I'm going to make us some hot chocolate. I've got popcorn. I know, weird combination, right? But that's what we like. We like popcorn and hot chocolate when we're sitting in here just chilling at the cabin. So, guys, I'm glad that you followed me along today. I'm glad you followed me. Hopefully you made it through the day. The popcorn's popping and I gotta go. I'm gonna chill. This is my day. Bye guys.